Hello everybody, my name is Jose and welcome back to Dream Daddy Simulator. So, uh, we gotta choose one of these, so I'm either thinking of getting some fresh air or coffee because I want to leave Joseph for later. Even though it is voiced by Aaron, that handsome ass devil who's just got them dreamy eyes and that long silky hair. Uh, anyways, <laughs> um, uh, you can, uh, let's get some air. I said that park down the road. I saw a ton of dogs there when we drove past. Okay, will you help me steal the, a dog? The last time I can't fit a dog into my pockets in a cargo shorts, it's physically impossible. You're breaking my heart, pups. Oh yeah, we well, are breaking my wallet. All the crap I gotta buy you. Please remember. Okay. Man and I begin to st a stroll through the neighborhood, and I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the streets, and the flowers are in bloom, and in the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. <laughs> Too nice. I don't trust it. <gasps> Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroller over there? Government operative. We're on to you, baby. <gasps> we just go up to the baby and give it the middle finger. <laughs> we walk for a while and eventually end up in the small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs are all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it. When... Heads up! Ah! My head! I got a concussion! <laughs> Frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Woof. A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief is tied around its neck, bound up to me, wagging its tail. It's starting mauling my privates as I was on the ground holding my head. <laughs> Hello, did you throw this thing at my head? I like your necktie. <laughs> Rough. He runs around in circles, nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Can I help you? Impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. Woof woof. How long do I have left? How did you know? Do you have tomorrow's lottery? How did you know? Borf! Oh my god, this dog knows more than he lets on. He definitely could have caught that. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. Look at this magnificent specimen of a man! <laughs> You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Hey, dick! How about you figure out where that- uh, You watch where you throw that crap! You don't need to be giving me your attitude, you son of a- <sighs> We're a tradition that's supposed to aim for people's heads, yeah! It's a new technique, I'll catch it with my teeth next time. But I'm fine, thanks! Uh... Ha! I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm reloading, and this is my daughter, Amanda. Took over Amanda's- at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's oh. tummy. Hi! Your dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. Shit, I keep forgetting to give these guys voices. I need a real... What kind of voice would this guy be? Kind of gruff. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe once I get a bit more backstory on them, I'll figure it out. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Do you have a daughter? Where's yours? I just is over the grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. So are all these guys going to have like daughters? <laughs> this is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Karamazov. Her teacher tells me that she was the she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. Okay, but how old is she? Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh... 10. She's a preca precocious 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 Little youngster. I don't know why I was having trouble Whoa. with that. Whoa! Nice freckles. Hey. My natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishment. <laughs> I know what's happening. Brian. Oh, God. Go on. Go on, Daisy. Tell them about yourself. Daisy. Um, I. Brian. That's my girl. Amanda, get in there. Okay. Okay. Loading's HP 80, Brian's HP 80. Brag, what the hell's DHTR? Can't switch daughters, Amanda is your only daughter. Okay. Item, flea. Grade card, band aid. Spelling B photo. Child art. Grade card. Fill the wrinkles with copy of Amanda's last grade card out of your back pocket, Amanda. Dad! Awesome grades, Brian loses 25 HP. Brian, you really carry that around everywhere? Ouch! Maybe it is kind of weird. You lose it. Five. 
Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president too, of course. Amanda, dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club. My computer lab. You lose 10 HP. As long as it, okay, we're winning though. Brag. Man, is here. Just recently won a local photography award. Man, wow, congratulations. 10 HP. He's actually just won a statewide poetry contest. You lose 50. Oh, you bastard! Uh, uh. Item. Spelling bee photo. Band aid. Spelling bee photo! Spelling through your phone's browser and you manage to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations. Amanda Daisy is getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully, this will be her third win in a row. Yikes, you lose five. God damn it! We sold enough candy bars this year to get on top of the prize chance. We're taking it to the next weekend. How is that even possible? Man, I could barely get one of those sticky hand things. It's extra power. Yo! <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Brag! Last week, Robin and Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful. Brian loses 20 HP. Did I mention Daisy said her first words at 10 months? Amanda was a potty. Was potty still cute? But maybe this isn't time to bring it up. You lose 10 HP. 15, 25. Oh God, I'm not gonna make it. Amanda's in all her honors classes this semester. Brian loses 10. No. Really, I'm actually taking Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. Now when you lose to ah, dang, he's really got his beat. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. I. Did you have to add insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? You dick. You have it all, don't you? A dog, a way better daughter than me. Looks. God damn you. <laughs> so I take it, you guys are new to the neighborhood. We just moved in. Do you live around here? Yeah, we live in the cul-de-sac down the next to the coffee shop. What a co wink dang well, That's where we live too. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house in the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscape. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? Probably. What a lovely place. Yeah. Well, I don't want to wake up any more of, take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Brandon and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along in tow. <laughs> Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? Trying and succeeding? I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe he had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have made you in a comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. <gasps> Let us never speak of it! The fantastic adventures of Sir, Her Sir Horsington, the brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Daddy. <laughs> oh yeah, she's got my last name. We laugh off the horse epic and talk, walk around the park a bit more enjoying the day. Uh, let's go to the coffee shop. I gave my hands on a nice cup of coffee. Old bean juice for I'm going, or I'm going to be useless all day. I think we passed the coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. Okay. Nothing in beat reading in print. Walk down the street to Coffee Spoon. A cute little place on the yeah. corner. Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. What's wrong? I'm gonna go somewhere else and drink coffee on the couch when I could just drink better coffee at home, my own couch, and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people. True. I don't drink coffee at all, so I don't care. At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't isn't gonna come up to and sit next to the rec sit on the recliner next to me, and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he is very much within my personal zone. A dad. And what's with, with the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go s set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibilities that there is, in fact, a bin somewhere just out of sight? And now you're the jer the, now you're that jerk who left their mug. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda! <laughs> we walk inside. Oh, what's up? The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records lined with walls and patrons lounge around on a well-worn on well-worn in couches. Some cool touches. Spin our record player next to the little stage. Nice task, buddy. Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Oh, it's uh it's kinda dumb. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose now. Still a good idea because, like, the business is still running. 
People ask me that question all the time, and I get the same answer every time. And now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable. That more I keep talking, but man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. Hmm. So what a lippy! <laughs> Scanning the checkboard menu, and I am immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a... Godspeed, you black cop- Oh, is that what it is? I don't like the term, way they use the term black. <laughs> Ice, Tegan, and Sarah. Chai Antward. Uh, let's go with the Ice Tegan. Good choice! What the hell does that mean? I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Tegan and Sarah are this really awesome Canadian indie band formed in 1995. They were nominated for a Grammy in 2013 and are known for being masters of not only pop hits, but meaningful lyris lyricism or lyricism. I don't know. Doing the thing again. Coming right up. And for you? I'll have a macchiato di Marco, please. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? That last one's a little confusing. Uh, medium. <laughs> what is big or small? Is big or small? Uh. I should change that, shouldn't I? <laughs> Matt sits to taking, making out our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. Biggie Smalls. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyways. Yeah, you're making puns. I make puns all the time. Hey! Hey! Scott was cool once. Starts crying. <laughs> Scott's couch is actually pretty comfortable. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. God, good lumber support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. <laughs> Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just a, as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are! You should totally become friends with him! Uh, I don't know. Amanda, why are you trying to hook me up with every dude around here? <laughs> Come on, what'd you say about meeting new people? You can't meet new people if I always stay inside and... Oh, ugh. And also, don't go outside, and also, don't talk to people. See, we're making progress! Ah. That's our drinks down in the table, and I have a sip. The iced teagle and Vera is delicious. Hi! We're new in the neighborhood. I'm a man, and this is my dad. Reloading! All right, on, and pleased to meet you both. You gotta come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. What is it with every one of these guys having a daughter? Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Was that just the, the writer's idea of like, oh shit, how are they, how are my, how is the character going to be able to talk to all these dads? Oh, I got it. They'll all have uh, a common interest. They all have daughters. <laughs> and that kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Yeah, sounds great. You know what? Let me get you guys, get your guys' opinion on something. It goes in the back, comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Hey. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're gonna have to taste it, test it first so we can, uh, get the full flavor profile of it, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of it. Amanda nods vigorously, she knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that banana bread a taste! If you want us doing free creative labor, I think that would be commensurate with, uh... You taught her well. We have trained for this, for, for this day. I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. <laughs> right! Yes! That! That serves us each piece, Amanda, and I happily chat down. This is amazing! Hey, dude. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. Mm. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Banana bread Kennedy's. Ooh, that's a good one. Dead Kennedy's. Grateful banana bread. Right said banana bread. No, banana bread Kennedy's. You know, like the punk band. Hey. They said you only knew dad bun band puns. I'm a hard oh. dad. Very hard. <laughs> that actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey, dude. Yeah, banana bread Kennedy's. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. Hey. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. Hey. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. See, it sounds good when you say it. 
Oh, oh, oh. That's the way a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. Don't stare at me! <laughs> I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me saying, Who is that? We finished up our drinks to head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? I need a nap. We just had coffee! Have you ever known me to play by the rules? Your father is a rebel, sweetie. Now all aboard the train to Sleepy Time Junction. It's called making a tape for a reason. Oh, masking tape for a reason. It's rocking home. Our heavy. I hear heavy footsteps. Come us behind us. Reloading, bro. What the hell? Who the hell are you? And how do you know my name? I'm trying to. I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig. Who the hell's Craig? Bro. Bro. Holy wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever! It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great! Dude! <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped! <laughs> Man, this is my friend, Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. Meanwhile, he got ripped and jacked. I became fat, a fat lard of crap. <laughs> Anyways. Man, a dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, nice. cute baby. Oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. Wait, do you run with the baby or what? Is This River. Say hi, River. Picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you oh. babysitting? Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to, the, to exams with bad hangovers. The next, we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Mm -hmm. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley oh. doing? I mean Ashley. Ashley was her, is her name. She actually is still going to buy Smashley and uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. It's old news. We take turns taking care of her and the twins. It's all co copacetic or copacetic. I don't know. Twins? You have three kids? And life something, bro. Right. Kicksand Craig is father of three. Mm -hmm. Kicksand Craig? Oh, haha. <laughs> yeah, that was my old college nickname. Got it because he did a lot of kickstands. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the oh. keg. Right. He was, he was very good at it. Oh, bro, I hate to be that, that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog. And I really got to keep my heart rate. Uh, keep up my heart rate. Brought her along for, you know, resistance training. So you're using the baby as a fucking weight? <laughs> you jog daily? I jog yearly. Enjoy your first one. I promise myself that I'm going to jog daily the rest of the year, but I give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. It's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Cool. Yeah, we could totally motivate each other. Haha. <laughs> I don't know. Bro. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch. Like the good old days. All right, sure, sounds great. I always wanted to experiment in college, anyways. <laughs> Girl, let's get at going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. That gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. River jumping uh, up and down. Can't believe Kirby's ripped, and he has kids. I'm reeling. Why is that? Craig, I knew was not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time, I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Man, he opened up a new jar of mar marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then when I asked him what the hell he was doing, he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bruh. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. <laughs> and then I flop into the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're not- we're going to be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Come on, Dad. It's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know- oh, you're- yeah, you're going to college. I know, I know. It's just... You're my little girl. <laughs> it's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit and I'll text you every day and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. 
You promise? It's not coming down my nose. Oh. Of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on, I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Or I'll just be busy constantly watching the huge amounts of uh, gay porn. <laughs> or bye. I don't know what my character is yeah. yet. A dog? Forget our school, I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? Medium sized dog handkerchief around the neck? I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, the dog's a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Amanda laughs suddenly. A pile of envelopes slide through the mail slot. Speaking of college, Amanda darts over the envelopes and shovels through them. She pulls out one out and throws the best back on the floor. Yeah. Thanks, Amanda. It's from a Gowan College in art of, in art of Art and Design. Hmm? Open it! But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. <sighs> yeah, it's just like my entire future. No, not a big deal. Uh, she takes a deep breath and rips it. The letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, okay, but okay. Yeah, I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application, blah, blah, blah. Um, we... Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, Aww. sweetie. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I wouldn't... Shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. The admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits of or whatever. Pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other schools is gonna want to snatch you up for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine or you just want uh, saying that? I'm fine, really. Face says the opposite, but probably shouldn't push her on this. Uh, before I forget, Emma R and MP are sleeping over tonight. So you need me out of the way because I'm a pa I'm painfully uncool. I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, <laughs> I have you know that I'm conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have to new place to yourself. Yeah. What are your plans? Quick, think of plans. <laughs> I'm secretly the mayor of this town. Got to attend the union meeting. I'm going clubbing. There we go. I'm gonna put it on a nice fight and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves: the lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man. You know. The ones all the kids these days are doing. All right, but I'm not gonna come pick you up. If you pull anything this time, not again. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to go to bed. Go out and watch the game. Go to bed. Go. To bed. Yeah, let's just go to bed. I'm wiped. Have fun with Emma's. We'll try to keep it down. I know you're not going to, but I appreciate you for saying that. You don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. All right, Mr. Vega. <gasps> From Street Fighter? No. <laughs> yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Awesome. Night, pops. Cool. Changing. Are we up to the text from the... No, no number. Yeah, I don't care because we're saving it here and that's it. So, this is interesting. I'm actually into this. I, I like the whole aspect of learning, of just seeing what other people are up to. It's basically a dating simulator game, which obviously Dream Daddy Simulator, but... The twist here is that you're a male going, basically going out with other males. Uh, which is fine with me. It's, it's interesting to me and I want to meet all these other guys as well. Either way, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button and show me some support. I appreciate every single one of you. And I will see all of you in the next video. Is that a balls and... Never mind. Whatever. Bye.